carbon dioxide is a colorless and odorless gas that is emitted on a massive scale from the combustion of fossil fuels. It's a major contributor to the greenhouse effect and climate change. But CO2 is also a potential source of carbon-rich compounds like those used for making plastic. Up to now, they've been mainly obtained from crude oil. But if they can be made from carbon dioxide instead, it would both help the climate and replace oil to some extent. This has been the subject of intense research. And now the first products made from recycled CO2 are on the market. It looks like they're pouring a perfectly normal road surface here in the German city of Krefeld. But this is actually a high-tech surface on a new sports ground. The material can withstand enormous pressure, but at the same time it's elastic. The mixture for the surface is almost entirely made of plastic, and that required a lot of petroleum. But even here, step-by-step, step, more environmentally friendly materials are being used, says Mark Schütze. He's the head of a firm that produces a chemical for the material. What sets this apart is that we have a chemical component in the binder that's based on carbon dioxide, and that increases the binder's sustainability. The blue surface layer is pure plastic. For the substrate beneath it, 20% of the petroleum normally used to produce it has been replaced by industrial-grade CO2. We shouldn't talk it up too much. Of course, it's still artificial grass and not natural lawn. That would be the optimum. But we've been playing field hockey on artificial turf for what feels like a hundred years. So it's important to us to try to do at least a little bit for the environment. Alternatives to petroleum. Research and development divisions have been on the case for years. German polymer and adhesives manufacturer Covestro is already far along that path. For the past two years, the firm has been producing chemicals with recycled CO2 in this reactor, so far in small quantities. Just think of the first planes, the first cars. Back then there were only a few cars and planes. Now we have the first batches of polyol, where we've actually been able to cut back on petroleum. We want to scale up the process long term to make more plastics, more materials with it. In the research here, these chemical compounds are used as components in adhesives and binders. They're also being tested as a base for foams. There are already products for which up to a quarter of the petroleum has been replaced by recycled CO2. Much more important, though, is to find the right amount of CO2 for each product. It's not the Olympic Games. How much CO2 can we put in? Because for the products we're bringing to our customers, we want to find exactly the right materials and get them onto the market quickly. Not far away, the Max Planck Institute in Mülheim is researching fossil fuels and developing concepts for capturing and reutilizing CO2, with the goal of sustainably reducing the enormous greenhouse gas emissions from industry. For example, chemist Walter Leitner wants gases released during the steel refining process channeled directly into the neighboring chemicals industry. Our vision is that we don't extract the carbon from the ground as fossil fuels, then refine them, and then just release the CO2 into the atmosphere. We are working towards closed cycles, keeping carbon dioxide in the cycle, with the help of renewable energy, just like nature does it. Compared to the CO2 that industry produces, the small amounts reutilized in this sports ground surface are negligible. But at least some of the global warming gas has been processed for the adhesive in the grey plastic substrate. And that's not the only application. Other things we'd like to introduce to the market are chemical components for soft foams used in the furniture industry or in the mattress industry. But we're also thinking about very different applications, such as fibres for textiles or insulation for houses or refrigerators. A few days after this surface was laid at the Krefeld Hockey Club, the finals of the German Women's Youth Hockey Championships were played here. The players who competed for the title probably weren't aware that under their feet was recycled carbon dioxide. <laughs>